One of the main benefits to grid sampling uh, is definitely putting the right amount of nutrients where they're needed and cutting back on certain areas that might be at a high nutrient level where you really don't need to put on any, anything on. Uh, with rising fertilizer prices this year, it's a perfect year to jump into grid sampling and try it out if you've never tried it before um, and see if it can benefit your operation. With grid sampling, we've seen a huge savings in lime application costs with lime 34, 36 bucks a ton with the application. You really don't want to put any extra lime where you don't need it. And this is a perfect way to make sure you're putting down the right amount of lime on those right areas where you need to raise your pH up. So normally on a, a sampling rotation, a grid sampling rotation, we will grid sample a field every three to four years depending on your operation and what you prefer. So when it comes to writing fer fertilizer recommendations and our recs that we come out and spread, uh, it's not just based on your soil test levels from each point that we take. It's based on your soil types, uh, yield data history if you have that capability, and then what your actual yield goal is. So we'll build the rec to fit you and your operation and not just based on soil test levels. So if you're interested in trying out grid sampling or you grid sampled in the past and, and you have some more acres that you need to get done or stuff that's even ready to be resampled, uh, reach out to your heritage agronomist and, uh, and we'll get out there and start pulling some dirt. <laughs>